This one is a special case and you need to pay very close attention to what we're going to be doing here because they're giving us the Newman projection and we need to find out whether the Carroll centers are R or S. We need to assign the uh, absolute configuration. The trick for this is to actually stand on one of the sides of the molecule. It doesn't matter which side you actually stand on. But you're going to pretend that you're standing there, there's you, looking at the molecule and that you can actually see the carbon-carbon bond that is between those two carbons that are represented by the circle. Now, notice that I have uh, atoms going down, I have atoms going up, and then I have straight up and straight down. So this one's right here are lying on the plane of the paper when you're looking at it. These two are pointing to you and these two on the left are pointing away from you. So that's what we're going to be looking at. Let's first look at the carbon that's in the front. Let's say this is the carbon that's in the front. I have an OH pointing to the front but it's pointing to my feet so I'm going to make the wedge and I'm going to point it down. On that one I have a hydrogen that's pointing away from me and it is also pointing down so you need to keep that relationship going. There's a methyl in the front that's going up but it's neither pointing to me or away from me so I'm just gonna put it on a straight line but it's pointing up so make sure that you put it in a straight line going up. That's basically what's attached to the front carbon. Let's go to the back carbon. So I have a CH2OH. Notice that it's not pointing to me or away from me. So I'm going to this carbon and I am going to put it on a straight line because it's resting on the plane of the paper. I also have a hydrogen and an OH. The hydrogen is pointing toward to me and it's pointing up so I'm going to make a wedge because it's pointing to the front and that wedge I'm going to be putting pointing up. The back of that carbon has the OH. So if you are standing on this side of the molecule this is what you would actually be seeing and now it's just a matter of assigning the R and S to my carbons. Let's start with the carbon that's on the left. I have oxygen, carbon, carbon, and hydrogen. Oxygen has high atomic number, so it gets number one. Carbon, carbon, they have the same atomic number, but if you notice, the carbon on the right is attached to an oxygen as well. I always go to the highest atomic number whenever I move on from atom to atom, so you have to go to the oxygen, and that gives this side of the molecule the number two. The methyl is a number three and the hydrogen is number four and it's pointing to the back so I'm actually ready to assign the absolute configuration of this carbon and I'm going counterclockwise and counterclockwise is what? Counterclockwise is S. Let's do the exact same thing on the carbon that's on the right. What do I have attached to it? I have oxygen, carbon, carbon, and a hydrogen. The hydrogen is in the front. Let me see if I find a different color. Yep. Oxygen is number one. And then you have to compare these two groups. Carbon, carbon, that's the same. Move on to the next atom. Oxygen, that's the same. So I need to move on to the next atom. And the carbon that's on the left has another carbon attached to it. This one, I just ran out of atoms. So this side of the molecule is now going to get the number two. This group at the bottom gets number three. And the hydrogen, which happens to be in the front, is number four. Now I can go one, two, three, one, two, three. And if I am mindful that the hydrogen is on the wedge, it's pointing to the front, I can actually just say it's S, but hydrogen is in the front, or number four. You can put number four is in the front, so it's the opposite of S. It's R. 
So in this molecule right here, I have two chiral centers. The chiral center on the left is the S. The chiral center on the right, it's the R. Now remember, I can only use this trick right here, the opposite trick, if the hydrogen is on the wedge. 